years ago this year the SPK was formed by a couple of Aberdonians. Well, they weren't really, but that's where they stayed at the time. <laughs> they, uh, as most of you'll know the history of it, the uh, first anniversary meeting was held on the beach here at the AGM where they elected their committee then. Upgraded in 2002 to the Scottish Power Kite Association to take in all the realms of kite flying sports. As you also know, we've tried unsuccessfully, I've got to say, over the years to try and encompass more of the freestyle events. The uh, Scottish kite flyers just don't seem to enjoy being grouped in a freestyle event. They all prefer to go out and do their own freestyle as and when it suits best. The one thing we have been pretty successful on for the last four years that we've run it is our buggy race series. And as most of the ones here are all contest, we're here because we do buggy race. <coughs> we um we still have race day four, our last race day, that we actually managed to get out and do something which was held in conjunction with the Celtic Challenge at Sands of Luce at the beginning of the month. So we've got awards to present for the top three in the 16 inch wheel class at that time. So if I can start off with the 16 inch wheel class winner, who unfortunately is not here today, but Ian King took the honours for that and we're going to ask one of his fellow 16 inch Last racer, Drew, if you'll come and accept this on behalf of me. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <Good God. laughs> He's gone. Right, third place on race day four. As I uh, was apparently hoping earlier that he'd moved up one spot in it, but uh, he conceded that maybe he was only third. Bob Mitchell. <laughs> Moving back down one, starting to come into the trophies on a much more regular basis these days. Alan Payne. And our uh, up and coming uh, <laughs> leading contender these days, it's uh, finally seems to have got the hang of these uh, ozone kites that you will insist on flying in our beaches here. Hey, it's Stephen Perry. Oh, <laughs> right, we'll move on to our uh, annual award for a series. The uh, best newcomer come into the racing at the beginning of this last season's racing. Again, it's won by Ian King. Drew, can you accept this again? <laughs> Uh, Ian also gets the facility of uh, free entries into our next season's racing, so that's the top of his trophy, the nice Vienna. Okay, moving up into our buggy series, overall placings for the series that we've run. In third place again, Bob Mitchell. Bob yeah, took it with 19 points. Okay. In second place was second place was Ped, who also scored 19 points. Yes. Ped was better placed insofar as he had two wins. I'm going to do this one because as you know it's another Arlet 
again, he's not here anymore. Yes! <laughs> so, even though he wasn't contending for the last one, in two race days, he still managed to win the series. And that was Kev Arlett, so I'd like to ask Tom to come and accept it on his behalf. Also, the series winner cup goes to Kev Arlett. thanks to me. Our race series, as you know, needs the uh, series officials to make it run for us. And the one person that, that's always there, does our scoring, always turns up. And this year has also produced a superb cake to celebrate our anniversary. <laughs> Guys. Another of our up and coming contenders that's been quite active in this past series with helping out the Petra. I would like Callum to come up and put the knife into the cake for us. Here, come and help yourself. Oh, it's got a 